Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The first month of Trader Thralls is almost over. So let's take a look at the things we need to do before February selection disappears. So normally on a Friday, I like to do a Grim Disco video, but we have news we have a raid tonight so therefore why didn't why do a little video and then go but there'll be more on monday when we can just do the whole of our grim disco video on monday especially as this is our last weekend to get all of the things we need to get done for trader thralls and by the way the name trader thralls now i've said it is gonna stick with me and I'm, i apologize for that now with february coming to a close the goods of in the trader store will soon be refreshing. But don't worry, if there was a number of items that you wanted from February selection, but just, well, couldn't get them all, these things are not gone for good. They're not going to disappear into the ether never to return. Simply, they're going in the back room, into storage, and at some point in the future, we will see them again. But if there is an item that you covet, that you crave, that you really do want, don't forget, you can just drag it down into the frozen area where it'll be locked, ready for you to purchase it next month or, hell, whenever the need or fancy takes you. Now, this is also the last chance to earn enough points to claim the Harbinger of Dawn Mount, as this, along with the trading items, will be rotating at the end of the month and be replaced with something new. The rumour has it we have some very nice things coming. We have the Parrot Mount meant to be on its way, the Magenta Cloud Serpent, but I think I think we will wait until, well, next week and go over all of the items that are available when we actually know what they're going to be rather than sit here speculating from whatever's been raked up from the leaks, the data mining and so on and so forth. But, as I say, it does look like there's some good stuff coming, so yeah, let's just hope that it's a little bit smoother than we had at the beginning of the launch because that was yeah less than stellar but i put that down to something this big being added and you know there's always gonna be problems especially in wow we're used to this by now and yes you can argue as much as you want that it shouldn't happen that blizzard are a massive company that we pay for this and x y and z game didn't have these issues when it implemented something like this but you know what how many of them are working with a base game from like 2004 and hell this is blizzard sometimes these things happen as long as they're not repeated we can live with it so save your favorite unpurchased items collect your harboring amount and don't worry if you have unspent coins for they will roll over ready for you to rummage through the new selection of goods that's coming next week but that is me done thank you for watching monday we'll be going over disco's probably appalling logs not only to just laugh at my expense but also to show you guys if you don't know how to go through your logs what you're going to be looking at and really how you can take information from that apply it to your own gameplay so that fingers crossed we can all get better until then, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you all in that video. Laters, everyone. Have a great weekend.